Hi, this is Alan Moore, Certified Financial Planner and Founder of Serenity Financial Consulting. Today we're going to be doing a video walkthrough of some of the award-winning technology that Serenity Financial Consulting offers to our clients. So I want to start on our home screen of our website. We're going to go to Resources, Client Area, then we're going to click Money Guide Pro Planning Software here at the bottom. And this will pull up a website for Money Guide Pro. This is our financial planning technology um, that our clients, that our financial planning clients have access to. So we're going to click login and we are going to log in to Joe Samples Plan. We're going to hit click login. Now this brings up Joe Sample. So this is Mr. and Miss Sample. Um, we're just going to briefly walk through each of the different sections that uh, you will have access to. Um, as you can see, Mr. and Miss Sample here, um, we have their ages, um, whether or not they're employed and their employment incomes. We can also see that they have two children, Joe, who is eight years old, and Sally, who is five years old. So during the course of the financial planning process, we established financial goals for the samples. For instance, Retirement, they would like to have $84,000 a year in retirement in order to maintain their standard of living. If only one of them were living, then they only need about $72,000. The next goal is that they would like to be able to travel annually, which they anticipate will cost around $5,000 per year. They would also like to send both of their kids to college, and we're planning on spending around $20,000 in today's dollars for public in-state college tuition. Finally, they would really like to be able to pay for their children's weddings. Um, this is an expense that they personally had to, to deal with and they'd rather help their kids out if possible. But they do anticipate spending a little bit more on Sally's wedding than Joe's. Next, we're going to click into the resource tab and we're going to go down each of these one by one. For retirement income, the samples have Social Security as well as Mr. Sample has a military pension. Next, we'll click Investment Assets and you can see the different type of investment accounts that the samples have. For instance, Miss Sample has an IRA at Trust Company of America, um, Mr. Sample has a rollover IRA, and Miss Sample has a SEP IRA. If we click into each IRA or each of these accounts, you can actually see all of the different holdings that they have, um, each of the investments with a symbol as well as a value. So we're gonna back out of that go down to liabilities. So this is all of the debt that the samples have. Um, they, we have been able to pay off most of their debt, so they are left with only a mortgage against their home, which has an outstanding balance of $300,000 and a monthly payment of $1,500. Next, we'll click their net worth, and this is a really handy summary to just be able to quickly show total assets, total liabilities, and their overall net worth. So the samples are worth around $750,000 in net worth. Each of these can be clicked on to get additional information about kind of the numbers that go into it, but this is a really good overall summary. Next, we'll click Risk Assessment. In the Risk Assessment, it'll show uh, a, basically a assessment that we use with our clients to help show their tolerance for risk. How much of the ups and downs in the market can they weather and be comfortable? So Mr. Sample is a risk taker. Um, he would be normally in a 80% stock portfolio and 20% in bonds. He is an above average risk taker. While Miss Sample is a little closer to average, um, she would normally be in a 40% stock portfolio. So to balance the two, we have recommended that they be in a 60% stock portfolio. Next, we can click into their asset allocation, which basically shows some of the same information you saw before, but it's all compiled for all of the accounts. So currently, they have 36% of their investments in stocks. And we can see, based on each asset class, exactly how much they have and what percent of their total portfolio is invested in that asset class. Next, we can see their target band, which essentially shows the, their current portfolio, as well as the portfolio that we may be recommending to them, as well as some additional information um, here below. Next, we're going to look at the results of their financial plan. Under summary, the samples can find their financial plan, their current plan, 
as well as what we are recommending based on their financial planning process. What you'll see here is a graph that you'll get used to seeing if you become a client. It essentially shows what probability the client has to meet their goals. I don't want to go into too much detail on this video, but if you become a client, you'll learn that 74% is actually a pretty good chance of success in their financial plan. What you can see is that we found that the client can actually retire one year earlier by saving an, in, an additional $5,000 per year and by increasing their amount in stocks. So then the next question typically is, well, what if I don't want to save the extra money? What if I'm okay with retiring at age 65? And that's why we have the play zone. In the play zone, this is a client's opportunity to ask, what if? So you'll see we have the recommended scenario from the previous page, as well as a play zone scenario. So we want to ask the question, what if I want to retire at 63? What does that do to my plan? Well, as you can see, the software runs a scenario and it says, well, you have a 69% chance of succeeding in your financial plan if you retire early. Well, what if we save an additional $5,000? So it's a total of $10,000. The software will then says, well, you actually have a 74% chance of success. And you can do that through any of these sliders. Here at Serenity Financial Consulting, we believe that you should have access to your financial plan. You shouldn't have to call your advisor and ask some of these basic questions, such as what happens if I want to retire a little earlier, or what happens if I work one more year. We believe that through this type of transparency, you will be able to control your own financial future.